Welcome to this episode of Sportsman TV. I'm your host, Greg Hackney, and folks, we've got a special treat for you today. We're in probably the most beautiful part of Louisiana, the Atchafalaya Basin, an area that's known for alligators, black bears, and some of the best duck hunting on the planet, and number one on my list, the largemouth bass. Come with us today and see if we can't take this place apart and catch some of those bass. I guess the biggest reason I picked the Atchafalaya Basin, uh, it's vastness. You know, I knew the water level was down, which historically really makes the fishing good. You know, when I get a chance to go fun fishing, you know, I can't really think of a better place to go. You know, a more scenic place. Uh, we saw a ton of wildlife today, alligators, all types of bird life, owls, bald eagles. The only thing that I can attribute it to is the, the fertility of the land here. I've been to the jungle, South America and the Amazon, and honestly, this part of the country is real similar to that. I mean, the water's just teeming with every kind of fish imaginable. I mean, it's a fun place to fish. I mean, you know, I got 50 or 60 bites today. It's hard to beat that anywhere else in the country. Yeah, I got a feeling we're gonna be able to catch one today. <laughs> I, it's probably, you know, honestly, I haven't, I was thinking, I fished on the uh, the other side, on the Verrett side, you know, in recent times, but. This is probably the first time I've uh, the first time I've been in the basin and on the spillway side in probably you know a couple years, and just because of you know traveling all over the country and uh, you know I don't get a lot of chance to uh, you know just to fun fish at home. So an opportunity to spend a day in the in the basin is you know it's going to be fun. Boy, there's nothing like catching them on a topwater bait, especially them big ones. I tell you what, folks, that right there, that's what you come to the basin for. Man, that's a pretty fish. Why Buoy Outfitters? Our customers know why. When you need something, you come in, you ask for it, and you can get it. Great selection of clothes here, guns, shells, calls, whatever you need. I like coming in and doing that. And more importantly for me, I'm a big bow hunter. I think these guys are better than anybody. That's why I come over to Bowie Outfitters. That's Bowie Outfitters. Perkins Road between Essen Lane and Blue Bonnet. Bowie Outfitters for everything outdoors. Don't just be a sportsman, look like one too. Men, women, kids, everyone wants to look like a good sport. And now you can find it all in one place without leaving the house. Our popular Sportsman logo clothing and accessories are just a click away at louisianasportsman.com. T-shirts, caps, polarized sunglasses, jewelry, koozies, and more are available in a variety of sizes and colors. It's easy to show the world that you are a sportsman. Visit shop.louisianasportsman.com today and get that perfect sportsman item for yourself or as a gift for that sportsman in your life. At Strike King, it starts with the concept. Next, it's all about perfecting the prototype. Finally, it's about catching yeah. a dream. This is a new prototype crankbait we're working on. Strike King. It's called a 10XD. Strike King 10XD. Wow! A five-pass limit! Perfection to 25 feet and beyond. Catch your dream. 
Louisiana Sportsman Magazine. For over 31 years, your source for fishing and hunting information. Each month you will find stories by local experts on everything from bass to redfish to ducks, deer to trout and turkey. We've got incredible local information that you can use immediately to get more success outdoors. You'll also enjoy monthly columns on cooking, the latest lures, GPS locations, shooting, kayaks, and much more. Have Louisiana Sportsman delivered to your house and safe. $24.99 gets you a full year of Louisiana Sportsman. To order today, visit louisianasportsman.com. It's that time again. It's time to get stocked up for the Louisiana Sportsman Bass Championship Open. We're here at Bowie Outfitters, and there's a couple baits for this time of the year. You know, it's springtime, those fish are moving shallow, those females are getting ready to spawn, and there's a couple things out there that I think could be a really big factor in this year's tournament. A lot of times during this tournament, it's warm, starts to warm up, those big females are moving shallow. Number one on my list for catching a big sack of fish, KVD Sexy Frog. You know, people think about this in the warmer months, a little later on, but those big fish get on it. As soon as that water temperature reaches 55, 60, it's perfect. Another thing, square bill, shallow running crankbait, either a cat special or a crawfish pattern. These are KVD 1.5. Cover a lot of water, hit a lot of stumps, catch a lot of fish. Last but not least, rage crawl plastic. Oh man, drop this on one of those big bedding fish. I mean, <laughs> I don't know about you, but it turns me on. Any of y'all catch any of those fish on any of these baits when you hear these tips, I'm gonna need some of that prize money. Uh, you know, the first thing I was looking for today was clean water, that's number one. Uh, number two is a place where there's moving water. And I actually, you know, because the water was moving out first thing this morning, I went to a mouth of a, a series of canals where the water was draining into a, uh, a natural bayou. and. You know, I honestly think I caught one on the third cast. I pretty much knew then what kind of day it was gonna be. And I mean, it was, you know, I mean, it was all downhill from there. I caught them every other cast for a while, picked a topwater bait up, caught a big one, you know. Uh, really got keyed in on what they were doing. It was a certain deal. They were on the cypress trees. They seemed to like the trees that had a little washout underneath them, and they were kind of on a point. But once I got dialed into that, then I can just go from tree to tree to tree and catch them. And when we, you know, really got it going, there was one on every tree. Um, I think the biggest one I caught today come off a giant cypress tree. You know, it's just real key. Knew I was going to get bit. I threw in there, got bit. The next cast, I catch the big one off the tree. You know, I mean, it's, uh, it makes you feel good when you click like that. You know, you know what's happening. You know what to do. You know where the next move's coming, the next fish is going to come from. You know, we've got a real textbook situation right now. You know, we've moved out, it's later in the day, the sun's getting higher, we've got good current flow. You know, the water's moving real good through this bayou, and uh, those fish are just set up perfectly right behind the uh, tree, just out of the current. There's another one. I mean, it's just, every time we get to one of those places, you know, I get a bite. You know, so what I'm gonna do, if you look down through there, you know, there's stretches where there are no trees, so we're just gonna jump from tree to tree because we figured out now that those fish are on those trees and there's no reason you know to waste any time on an area that doesn't have a tree and the biggest thing it's not necessarily a tree it is a current break you know so a, a log a stump you know anything like that to break that current flow and that fish just sits right behind it looking upstream you know regardless because you know there'll be a time of the day when the water comes from the other direction they'll just reposition around on the other side of the tree and they're just waiting you know for something to come swimming by so they can run out and grab it A lot of times when it's a real uh, key piece of cover like that, you know, there's, there's current coming around it, it's sitting out on a little point, it's got a log against it. I got bit instantly on the first cast. I went in there, I just felt like there should be another fish. It's just such a key place that it's one of those places I feel like will keep replenishing itself. You pull one off, another one will get up there just because it's so key. And uh, You know, I threw back in there, took two or three casts, and, you know, I caught a, another one and then I caught the tree, which that pretty much ends the bite once the tree is caught. Half the time I'm getting a bite on a crankbait like that off a piece of wood is uh, just deflecting. You know, it's getting that bait to deflect. That's when you get that bite. It's when that bait 
you know, crashes into that piece of wood and it turns off. It, it does something different. That fish has been watching it come and it's coming steady and then all of a sudden it does that. So it just kind of, you know, it, again, it goes back to that reaction bite. You know, something moves differently. They think something's wrong with it. It's crippled. It's trying to get away. You know, it just, it fires that predator instinct. And, you know, I think that's one of the deals that really draws me, you know, to fishing for them. Uh, it's almost like a hunting game. You know, they they get on, you know, they hide on cover, they're ambush predator, you know, just, I don't know, sets up well for my personality. Why Buoy Outfitters? Our customers know why. Buoy Outfitters is a, a friendly place. Uh, Buoy Outfitters is a very personable place. Uh, when you walk in the front doors, everybody's telling you hello, and it makes it very easy to come in here and, and shop and on, be a customer and go to the archery range and go to the gun counter just because you're going to get personalized service. That's Buoy Outfitters. Perkins Road between Essen Lane and Blue Bonnet. Buoy Outfitters for everything outdoors. Fishing. It's where good stories come from. It's about good times and family and friends. It's about taking a couple home for dinner tonight and saving a few for tomorrow. It's all about that and so much more. To CCA, fishing is about enjoying today and making sure tomorrow is even better. To us, fishing comes with a responsibility for the resources we enjoy so much. If fishing means all that to you, then you belong with CCA. LouisianaSportsman.com is the South's premier hunting and fishing website. Planning a hunting or fishing trip? Visit LouisianaSportsman.com and get up-to-the-date information on weather, tides, or solar no data. Our breaking news and continually updating form will keep you up-to-date. Or visit our report section and ask the locals what's been biting and where. Need to sell or buy an outdoor item? LouisianaSportsman.com's free classifieds are the quickest way for you to reach the outdoor market. LouisianaSportsman.com, the quick way to get the most of the outdoors. As fishermen, we're predators. And fish are the prey. In nature, the best fishermen have one thing in common, their eyes. How do you turn your eyes into the eye of a predator? It takes 11 layers of lens technology and a new lens color to make the human eye emulate the eye of a predator. Stop buying glasses for the classes. Make yourself an alpha predator. How y'all doing today? Ken Sherman with Front to Back Boat Service in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, here today talking about boat trailer segments, uh, things to do with fresh and saltwater boat trailers. Uh, a lot of people in South Louisiana, we fish here in the saltwater market, so we want to kind of give y'all some heads up things to check on your trailer, especially after hunting season, just getting started with a new season kicking off. We're going to start here on the front of the tongue. Things that we like to do is, as duck hunters usually have a dog laying around the house and he likes to chew the pigtail up a lot. So want to make sure your pigtail's in good shape. You want to check and make sure your safety chains are not rusted or corroded or have any problems with them breaking off. Other thing you want to do is those that have trailer brakes, we want to check our trailer brake fluid right here. It's very important because you'll get that thunking sound in your boat trailer. Usually means you're low on fluid or your trailer brakes not working or possibly plunger. You check your fluid to make sure that that's in good shape there. While we're on the front here, we're going to talk about your tongue jack. This is a thing that's very important because the tandem axle trailers, you can't pick up the trailers at all. You want to make sure this thing's in good shape. Crank it up, crank it down at time. Those that got grease fittings on them, let's make sure we pump a shot of grease in it because it does have pinion gears in the top that works. Right here on the front, we want to check our bow strap. Well, probably the most important thing going because our South Louisiana highways here are pretty rough, so they are pretty hard on the strap. So we want to make sure our strap's not dry, rotten, torn, or cut, or anything like that. And then you want to make sure if you have a safety chain on it, like this one right here has a safety chain. It's very important to have that here as well. In case you have an accident, the boat strap does break. It does give you a backup. Moving on down the trailer to more probably what I consider to be the most important part of your trailer is your wheels. Uh, these things sit up in one position during hunting season, two months, three months or so, never get moved. 
One thing I like to recommend guys to do is, is take a floor jack and come under the axle, jack each wheel up. And what we're looking for is we're looking for slack in the wheel, and then when you spin it by hand, you can hear any grumbling or gravel sound. As long as you don't have any slack in the wheel, and as long as you don't hear any of the grumbling sound, everything seems to be okay on that wheel. What I would do is pump about two, a good, two to three good pumps of grease in the wheel, spin it a couple more times just to make sure. You don't want to blow grease out the back of your oil seal in the back. Your wheel hub will actually rust up, your nuts will corrode on, four-way lugs and cheetah bars, you try to get these things to break them off. On the side of the highway, that's a very difficult and a bad taste place to be in. So what I'd recommend is, is go ahead and check that while you have it down, make sure that's good. Moving on to the back of the trailer, we have running lights, very important part. You like people to know that you're stopping when you're stopping or turning when you're turning, and if they're not working, there's a possibility you could have a rear end problem there. So what you want to do is, is if you get a chance, hook it up to your truck before you leave, walk through and do a light inspection all the way around your trailer to make sure all your lights are working. You want to make sure you got brake lights, tail lights, running lights, very important. So with that, have a good time. You know, the biggest producer today for me was probably the Pure Poison, which is a uh, bladed swim jig. Uh, you know, it's basically just a, like a regular jig, but it's got a blade on it, causes it to vibrate. Uh, it's a bait I have a lot of confidence in. I catch a lot of big fish on it. You can cover a lot of water with it. What, really what you need here is something that resembles bait fish, but yet something that resembles crawfish. It didn't seem like those fish wanted to slow a presentation. They wanted that moving bait. Basically the way I got this pure poison rigged up, again, it's, it's dark early in the morning. I like white and chartreuse as something they can see easily. And also that's always a good color to start with when you don't know what they're feeding on. Like we haven't decided yet, are they eating shad, are they eating bluegill, are they eating crawfish? Um, my number one trailer is a uh, swimming caffeine shed. And I actually like the full size one the best. I bite off probably an inch of it and you thread it on there. And basically what that does, it kind of gives you a swim jig and a swim bait all in one. And then you have that blade on there for vibration. This helps those fish find it easier. Well, you know, the navigation here is spooky if you look at it on a map, because it's such a maze of stuff, but there are such good aerial photos made of this place. And also with today's GPS's, you know, my GPS shows every canal, every ditch. There's a lot of places here where the water's eight to 15 foot. You know, most of the time today, every canal that we ran in, or natural bayou that we ran in, that, you know, they were all had good water, you know, had, and you know, you can see some visible snags, but far as running over anything, most, you have to worry about that part when you get more in the lakes. You know, as long as you stay in the canals and the natural bayous, you know there's plenty of water to get around in. You know, another big plus to fishing in the Atchafalaya Basin, all those boats that were parked in the parking lot, it's miles of fishing. You know, here we are, we found a place by ourselves, nobody around, and we're catching fish. And there's not too many places in the country you can do that. Because most of the places you go, when you find a place where the fish are, you've also found the fishermen. I mean, it's just, you know, you could come here. Oh, sorry about that. What I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by that largemouth bass, <laughs> that you could fish a new area in the basin every day for the next year and never fish the same place twice. You know, I think that's one of the appeals to this place. There's a hundred boats in the parking lot this morning, bass fishermen. Uh, we go out there and start on a stretch and start catching them and don't see another boat to halfway through the day and then only see a couple. And we're catching fish. In most places in the country you go, when you're catching fish, you don't have any water to yourself. You'll be sharing it with those other hundred boats. But this place is so big and so vast and so scenic. I mean, you know, I spent a lot of time out around the country on some pretty places, but nowhere any more scenic than here. I mean, we caught bass off of cypress trees. I mean, how, how can it get any better than that? That's where, if I drew where they're supposed to be, that's where they're supposed to be. You know, we go to these rock lakes all over the country, you know, they're not supposed to live there. I mean, these fish weren't stocked here. They were born and raised right here. They grew up here. You know, they survived through all the storms, whatever. I mean, this is where they're supposed to be. You know, I, I said one time today, you know, the next thing you may see here's a dinosaur. I mean, it's, it's that type of place.
Why Bowie Outfitters? Our customers know why. When you need something, you come in, you ask for it, and you can get it. Great selection of clothes here, guns, shells, calls, whatever you need. I like coming in and doing that. And more importantly for me, I'm a big bow hunter. I think these guys are better than anybody. That's why I come over to Bowie Outfitters. That's Bowie Outfitters. Perkins Road between Essen Lane and Blue Bonnet. Bowie Outfitters for everything outdoors. Louisiana Sportsman Magazine. For over 31 years, your source for fishing and hunting information. Each month you will find stories by local experts on everything from bass to redfish to ducks, deer to trout and turkey. We've got incredible local information that you can use immediately to get more success outdoors. You'll also enjoy monthly columns on cooking, the latest lures, GPS locations, shooting, kayaks, and much more. Have Louisiana Sportsman delivered to your house and safe. $24.99 gets you a full year of Louisiana Sportsman. To order today, visit louisianasportsman.com. At Service Chevrolet Cadillac, the service experience runs deep. It begins with a major investment in our beautiful new showroom on Ambassador Caffrey. Add to that the largest inventory of exciting Chevy and Cadillac vehicles. Then there's the exceptional service that's made us what we are today. Acadiana's most recognized and respected Chevy and Cadillac dealer. It's in our DNA. It's in our name. Service Chevrolet Cadillac. Experience the difference. At Strike King, it starts with the concept. Next, it's all about perfecting the prototype. Finally, it's about catching yeah. the dream. This is a new prototype crankbait we're working on. Strike King. It's called a 10XD. Strike King 10XD. Wow! A five-pass limit! Perfection to 25 feet and beyond. Catch your dream. Fishing. It's where good stories come from. It's about good times and family and friends. It's about taking a couple home for dinner tonight and saving a few for tomorrow. It's all about that and so much more. To CCA, fishing is about enjoying today and making sure tomorrow is even better. To us, fishing comes with a responsibility for the resources we enjoy so much. If fishing means all that to you, then you belong with CCA. Don't just be a sportsman, look like one too. Men, women, kids, everyone wants to look like a good sport. And now you can find it all in one place without leaving the house. Our popular sportsman logo clothing and accessories are just a click away at louisianasportsman.com. T-shirts, caps, polarized sunglasses, jewelry, koozies, and more are available in a variety of sizes and colors. It's easy to show the world that you are a sportsman. Visit shop.louisianasportsman.com today and get that perfect sportsman item for yourself or as a gift for that sportsman in your life. Really the only other place in the world, I guess, that resembles this place is the Amazon in South America. Uh, you know, where there's so much life, bird life, animals, alligators, all types of fish, snakes. I mean, you know, again, I get to go to a lot of great places, but nowhere where you can see the sights like here. I mean, you, you look down a body of water and there's fish working for the next mile. The water's just teeming with life. I mean, uh, you know, in the spring here, you know, there's sacks of crawfish being taken out. I mean, you know, this, the land here supports itself. I mean, it just naturally takes care of itself here. The other thing about it is, I, I flew over the jungle for four hours to get to the Amazon where I went. I'm 45 minutes from the house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When I come through that seawall and unload the boat here, it's like being on a different planet. And I'm 45 minutes from Baton Rouge. You know, that's the cool thing about it. You know, ha half the state has no idea that this place exists. They hear about it, but until you come here the first time, there's no way to grasp it without seeing it. I mean, uh, you know, it's been made famous by the, the hit show, The Swamp People. But until you come here and see how good the fishing is, not only is the alligator fishing good, but the bass fishing, the sack of lay fishing, the, you know, we caught some goggle out today. I mean, uh, shoe pick, anything you want to catch, big gar fish, this place has got them. Giant catfish, whatever you like to fish for, you know, hunting season, duck hunting, uh, you know, that's one thing. It's a big wildlife management area in the middle of the basin. You know, deer, bear, I mean, this place has got it all.
but it's sure nice to get to fish around the house because our fishing is so good and it's, I mean, it looks like a place where a bass should live. You know, a lot of places we go in the country are, are coverless. And what I mean by that, you know, the fish live offshore, uh, you know, on ledges, that type of stuff. And here we're blessed with cypress trees, uh, tufalo gum, vegetation, hyacin mats. I mean, it it's actually looks like if you had to draw up a place where a bass would live, this is it. I mean, again, this is 45 minutes from Baton Rouge. There he is, begging. Not as big as I thought, but still a good one. But uh, I hope, hope y'all have enjoyed this today as much as I have. I mean, I don't know how many fish I've caught, maybe, you know, 50 or 60, a couple big ones, but you know, that's the deal with the basin. Just a ton of good fish this size, fun, miles of fishing water. We saw very few people today, but just, I could not think honestly of a better place on the planet to spend a day fishing. And we'll see y'all next time on Sportsman TV. But it's sure nice to get to fish around the house because our fishing is so good and it's, I mean, it looks like a place where a bass should live. You know. Don't just be a sportsman, look like one too. Men, women, kids, everyone wants to look like a good sport. And now you can find it all in one place without leaving the house. Our popular sportsman logo clothing and accessories are just a click away at louisianasportsman.com. T-shirts, caps, polarized sunglasses, jewelry, koozies, and more are available in a variety of sizes and colors. It's easy to show the world that you are a sportsman. Visit shop.louisianasportsman.com today and get that perfect sportsman item for yourself or as a gift for that sportsman in your life. LouisianaSportsman.com is the South's premier hunting and fishing website. Planning a hunting or fishing trip? Visit LouisianaSportsman.com and get up to the date information on weather, tides, or solar data. Our breaking news and continually updating form will keep you up to date. Or visit our report section and ask the locals what's been biting and where. Need to sell or buy an outdoor item? LouisianaSportsman.com's free classifieds are the quickest way for you to reach the outdoor market. LouisianaSportsman.com, the quick way to get the most of the outdoors.